For years, Life Dynamics has been making this document available to crisis pregnancy centers and sidewalk counselors. It is designed to help girls and women who say they are being forced to have abortions. This is a very serious problem in America, and in many cases, the intimidation targeted th at these victims is backed up with physical violence. We have even published this report fully documenting the alarming number of American women who are actually murdered for refusing to have abortions. In some instances, this violence is inflicted by the male who was happily willing to use the victim for sex, but didn't want to face any consequences for it. Sometimes it's inflicted by parents against their teenage daughter, or in many cases by the parents of the boy who got her pregnant. Whatever the source of the violence, this is a national disgrace, and it's a problem the abortion lobby has been fully aware of for years. In fact, in our office, we have tapes of National Abortion Federation members discussing the issue at one of their national conventions. Unfortunately, their only response has been to openly side with not the victims, but the perpetrators. The latest example of this is an article published by the radically pro-abortion organization, RH Reality Check. In it, they attack Life Dynamics for producing and distributing the document I mentioned a moment ago. And their complaint is that it is being so widely used that it is causing disruptions at abortion clinics across the country. Now think about what they're saying. Remember, every single woman who signs this form is saying that she is being forced to have an abortion against her will, every one of them. And yet, the pro-choice crowd has no interest in that. They are only concerned that Life Dynamics is providing these women with practical steps they can take against the threats and intimidation being inflicted upon them. The fact is, this RH Reality Check article is basically an admission that they and their fellow travelers in the pro-choice community are lying through their teeth when they claim to care about the welfare of women. The only people they're concerned about are those who sell abortions, even when they sell them to women who are openly stating that they don't want them. Of course, we shouldn't be surprised that these people would side with the perpetrators of this violence rather than the victims. After all, that's where the money is.